So check this out. I just coated a penny in silver. And I'm going to show you how I did it with this one. First, you want to make sure your penny is clean. And so I'm just going to use some steel wool and get all the oxidation off of it, all the tarnish off. The cleaner, the better. All right, now I'm going to take my coin and I'm going to brush it with soldering paste. I'll do one side and then I'll do the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to heat up the coin and I'm going to coat it with a layer of silver solder. This kind of solder just came from the plumbing aisle. There we go. Perfect. Now while it's hot, I'm gonna take my steel wool the same one that I used to clean it, and I'm going to brush off the excess. You want to be careful not to put the steel wool into the fire because it will ignite. As I heated up the front of the coin, the back of the coin oxidized. So now I need to go through and clean this off again because the solder will not stick to an oxidized surface. Apply flux place again. There we go. Heat this up and coat it. Then I'll use my steel wool to knock off any excess. All right, so something interesting about this one this coin was made in 2015, which means it is zinc coated with copper. And as I was heating it up, you can see at the very bottom of the coin, it started to break. So when you do this, make sure that you're using a coin that is made in 1983 or prior, because that will hold up to the heat much better than the ones made after. Let's cool this one off, take a look at it. Let's try to shine it up. Now you can see what I was talking about in the top of the coin. A little heat stress there. The coin made in 1981 did much better. And for those of you who wanted to know what I meant by the steel wool will combust if you put it in the flame, watch what happens. Now if I leave that in there, the whole thing will start burning. So just be careful. Alright, there is the final product.
Now you can even just barely make out Abraham Lincoln in there. Of course, we lost a little bit of detail. 